Good day and welcome. Today we are continuing our discussion on levers, focusing specifically on first class levers. First, we'll explore the single first class lever, where the mechanical advantage depends on the position of the fulcrum. We'll discover the secret behind tools like crowbars and seesaws and see how their efficiency changes just by shifting the fulcrum. Next, we'll delve into linked first-class levers with some interesting examples, including the paper scissors. Then, see how secateurs, with their long handles and short, strong blades, provide a mechanical advantage, making gardening tasks a breeze. Don't forget to stick around until the end, we have some fun questions for you to test your skills before we reveal the answers. It's a great way to see how well you've grasped the material and boost your confidence for those upcoming tests and exams. Today's lesson is part of our exciting series on levers. For our other informative videos on levers, please check out the links in the description for more details. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our weekly uploads. All right, let's get started on this journey together and discover how first-class levers can make work easier. Let's go! First-class levers are widely used in everyday applications due to their ability to magnify force and change the direction of applied effort. In household tools, scissors, Pliers and secateurs exemplify linked first-class levers that allow precise cutting and gripping with minimal effort. Crowbars and seesaws illustrate single first-class levers, providing significant mechanical advantage to lift heavy loads or balance weights efficiently. By understanding the mechanical principles of first-class levers, we can enhance the functionality and efficiency of tools and machines in diverse practical contexts. Single first-class levers and linked first-class levers can help workers to move heavy loads. We say that the lever provides mechanical advantage. The lever uses the position of the fulcrum to give mechanical advantage. The greater the mechanical advantage, the more help the lever gives the worker. There are two types of first-class levers, the single first-class lever and linked first-class levers. Let's talk about these in more detail. In a single first-class lever, the pivot, or fulcrum, is positioned between the input, which is the effort, and the output, which is the load or resistance. This arrangement can be represented as LFE or EFL, where E stands for effort, the force you apply, F stands for fulcrum, the pivot point, and L stands for load, the weight or resistance being moved. In a first-class lever, the pivot forces the input and the output to move in opposite directions. When you push down on one side, the effort, the other side moves up which is the load. Mechanical advantage, MA, depends on the position of the fulcrum. The effort arm is the distance from the fulcrum to where the effort is applied, and the load arm is the distance from the fulcrum to the load. The further you apply force from the fulcrum, the easier it is to lift up an object. This principle is the mechanical advantage of the lever. Essentially, the longer the effort arm compared to the load arm, the easier it is to lift the load. The placement of the fulcrum relative to the effort and load determines the mechanical advantage. If the fulcrum is closer to the effort, then mechanical advantage is less than 1. You will need to put more force to move the load. If the fulcrum is in the middle, then mechanical advantage is equal to 1. That means there is no change in force. If the fulcrum is closer to the load, then mechanical advantage is greater than 1. This means you can apply a small force to lift an object, but there will be increased movement. A crowbar is a versatile hand tool used for prying, lifting, and removing nails, leveraging the mechanical advantage of a first-class lever. A crowbar is designed to increase the force applied by the user to lift or pry heavy objects. In this scenario, 
A man is using a crowbar to pry open a car door. The man's left hand is the fulcrum. The man's left hand holds the crowbar at a fixed point, creating the fulcrum. This is the pivot point around which the crowbar rotates. The man's right hand is the effort. The man's right hand applies force to the opposite end of the crowbar. This force is referred to as the effort. The object that the worker aims to lift or move is the load. In this case it is the car door. The principle behind using the crowbar as a lever is based on the concept of mechanical advantage. By positioning the fulcrum closer to the load and applying the effort further away from the fulcrum, the man can put a greater force on the load with less effort. The crowbar, as a simple yet powerful tool, exemplifies how basic mechanical concepts can be applied to achieve practical solutions in everyday work. This includes pulling a nail from a wooden plank, opening a crate or lifting heavy objects. In construction or demolition work, materials like wooden beams, metal sheets, or tiles may need to be separated. A crowbar can be inserted between the joined materials, and using the fulcrum technique, the worker can apply force to break the bond. A seesaw is another example of a first-class lever. In a seesaw, the fulcrum is at the center, with the effort applied on one end and the load on the other. By moving further from the fulcrum, you increase the mechanical advantage, making it easier to lift the person on the other side. Linked first-class levers are two levers joined together, with the fulcrum being the point where the levers connect. This configuration allows for the creation of mechanical advantage based on the position of the fulcrum. By strategically positioning the fulcrum, linked first-class levers can amplify force and improve efficiency, making them highly useful for tasks such as cutting, gripping, and clamping objects. In paper scissors, the point where the two blades connect is the fulcrum, and it is usually positioned exactly in the middle of the linkage. If the length of the blade from the fulcrum to the tip is equal to the length from the fulcrum to the handles, there is no mechanical advantage. This means that the force you apply with your hand is directly transferred to the cutting action of the blades without any increase or reduction. In other words, if the blades and handles are of equal length, you don't get any mechanical advantage, MA equals 1. Secateurs are also linked first-class levers. Secateurs are designed with long handles and short, strong blades. The fulcrum in a secateur is positioned closer to the blades, creating a significant mechanical advantage. This design reduces the force needed to cut through thick branches or stems, making gardening tasks easier. When the handles are long and the blades are short and strong, the mechanical advantage, MA, is greater than 1. This means that the effort you apply with your hands is amplified, allowing you to cut through tougher materials with less effort. Pliers function similarly to secateurs, with the fulcrum positioned closer to the gripping jaws. The longer handles allow you to apply greater force with less effort. Hedge trimming shears also have long handles and short blades, maximizing the mechanical advantage and making it easier to trim hedges and bushes with less physical effort. We have come to the end for today. But before we go, please attempt the following questions before the answers pop up. You can pause the video as you go. This is an important section that consolidates what you have learnt. Get ready for our next class, where we'll explore the amazing mechanics of second-class levers. Discover how the position of the fulcrum in a second-class lever changes its mechanical advantage. Plus, we'll examine linked second-class levers through cool examples like the office punch and the heavy-duty stapler, revealing the secrets behind their efficiency. Don't miss this exciting deep dive into everyday tools. So, let us meet next time as we discuss this further.
be sure to check out the link for this in the description. Also, please do not forget to subscribe so that you do not miss out on our weekly uploads. Otherwise, thank you for watching and keep well.